Was that was that four blah blahs or six? Okay. All right. Thank you. Uh, and he found a really he found a whale with a nice set. I think. I think you just pulled the lawnmower. <laughs> he was motorboat. <laughs> no, we got it. <laughs> just, just motorboating the bane. <laughs> motorboating the bane, yeah. I don't want to see any fan art off of the show. <laughs> okay, so uh I was he was that is that like a link with just me, whoever's talking to him, or is that like with everybody? Um he was he was kind of talking to everybody. Okay. So now, all all 40 healers on the boat are like, holy fuck. <laughs> <laughs> oh, don't worry about that. That's just Tickles and Almighty uh, Tickles the Destroyer. Where, uh, where Almighty Cuttlefish. From? Yeah, don't worry about that. that. Remember that thing that you guys saw that was on the water? The thing that like rose up and was all like, bah! you guys were on the boat for that. And it destroyed like the entire yeah. island and all the ships. That's, that's Tickles. But it's like here all the time. Yeah, we're buds. He's like right beside the boat all the time. Yeah, yeah, I know. <laughs> He's terrifying. He's a nice cuttlefish. Oh my god. He's he's a he's a giant teddy bear. If you give a him a bunch chance. of the healers start like packing their bags and start getting off the boat and getting <laughs> getting onto the wave breaker. Like, oh fuck this, fuck this, you, man. Do you not remember <laughs> what he did to the island? That's not gonna help. It's, it's better than being on the boat, man. He's gonna eat us. The boat that he's protecting. They all just kind of stop holding, like they're they're like mid walking the gangplank kind of thing, and they like stop and they look at each other. And they turn back around and get back on the boat. <laughs> <laughs> good okay, so okay, so 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 so, that's good. So, if somehow the kraken is the one that's causing these maps or the tolls. Is it the island? It... Motherfucker. The presence? Oh, is it? Oh, so it's to keep the island hidden, right? Like the whole point of of that is to keep people away from the island so it uh, they can't come and touch the Kraken? Either that or did, uh, correct me if I'm wrong. Uh, I look at the, my crew, not, not Lady Nakita Ha just yet. We never found out what the fuck that southern station was for. The one that literally controls all the winds. Oh, yeah. That's real. Oh, oh, no. That one was um, that one was to harness the power of the wind. It's just that the winds are quite wild around there. And the number of devices to harness it were both plentiful and extremely complicated. Only okay, only so our wind wakers were capable of operating it. So, do you have any sort of knowledge as to that island is the one creating the cartography system? Um, n no, because Tom and I kind of worked together to create the island with the map. Um, it didn't, the, 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 the oceans have been like this for hundreds of thousands of years, and we created the island uh, through the force of, um, Tom's, uh, considerable, uh, skill in cartography. Well, this doesn't make any fucking sense. Well, yeah, what doesn't make gonna... any sense to me is how could you, Galdrick, have given the order for the Kraken to, to preserve balance? How, how could I, you have done that? I don't know. I probably was the planer K. <laughs> Just sits there. You were. I'm just like rubbing my chin. I don't know, but odds are I'm possibly, maybe just a little bit, this world's original god. And I don't Galdrick? know. Thinking that, I was also thinking that maybe it's Joan because she would have a reason to want a steady state of souls coming in. And what better way to do that than to ensure the balance of all the doodads. But she never really mentioned it. Doesn't she does she know what we're planning on doing, Mr. Teeny Tot? Y yes. Are you sure? Yeah. She didn't say anything about that. Fuck. No. 
no she knows she knows we and, plan to kill kraken we plan to harness that energy we yeah. plan to essentially take that energy away from this universe because this yeah. universe has uh you know boo -ba -doo -ba -doo, bark, bark 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 dog uh yeah. getting ready to try to come and take it so we i told her originally yeah. the reason why i'm after this power is uh -huh. to remove it from this world to get it yeah. out of its grasp so uh -huh. yeah she she knows okay uh then um she also when Mr. T said that when she was looking at him, she looked at a real man when she talked about balance. So, what does that mean? Maybe. Huh? Maybe they, too, were some sort of force of balance. Galdrick and Joan, back in the day. Oh, yeah. What if? You know, hold on. Oh, boy, this is stupid. Oh, there's no way this makes any sense. There's no way this makes any sense. There's no way. There's no way. There's no way. No, just go for it. Go for no, it. Say it. No, this there's no way. way. No. Oh, this is, there's no way. Oh, boy. There's no way. Um, Galdrick's kind of thinking about how he can navigate without needing to know the tides. Like, he can, he can find land wherever. No. He was able to summon his ship. He has been able to be around for thousands and bajillions of years and stuff like that. He's pretty powerful in terms of like what he's able to do as compared to like, I, I would, I would say the rest of the party, like no one else can summon a, a fucking 200,000 year old ship. Yep. <sighs> can Galdrick test to see if he's a planar key or at least still holds the, the essence of one. Galdrick, as you have this thought about whether you are the planar key, you feel this surge of energy. You are flooded with memories. And the rest of you watch as the Bishop's Bane comes to life. What the fuck? The is ropes happening? spin on the pulleys, the sails unfurl, and the wheel begins spinning. And you witness this terrifying and awesome surge of power move up from the ship into Galdrick. And Galdrick, you remember everything. Your memory is completely restored and you remember Hundreds and hundreds of thousands of years ago when you made this world. Oh my God. You remember not knowing what your power was, but that it was the ultimate power. You were the blue planar key and you built this entire world. You shaped the islands, you filled the seas. This was your world. You created the Kraken. And you gave it the order to preserve balance. But that is not where your memories end. What the fuck? You remember your life. And you remember the pirates you trained, the buildings you built, the seas you sailed. And you remember the battle with Joan Divinia. Her legend was so great. It was even greater than yours at that point. You had chosen, once you had created this world, to live among it and trying to limit the use of your power so that you could experience life as everyone else inside this world. 
You were legendary, but Joan was something else. You, you had a hard time understanding how she could do what she could do without being the same level of power as you. And when she got brave enough, you met her on the battlefield. The battle was great and it was long. There were heavy losses on both sides. But you remember the maneuvers of the Bishop's Bane, how it just sung to you and listened to you. And you remember so nimbly sinking her ship and killing her. You were the one who defeated Joan Davinia. And it was years later, years and years later, in a massive battle against the Navy, when you were killed, living so long as one of the people in your world, you were allowed to die. But that can't destroy the planar key. And so the key passed to the biggest part of you that wasn't your body. It passed to the bishop's bane. Oh my God. And when the ship sunk, it became the spawning point of the Kraken, whose only remaining goal and mission was to preserve balance. As long as the Bane remained, the Kraken remained, executing its mission to preserve balance between the factions. But your memories don't stop there. Oh, oh my, my god! god. <laughs> you remember what happened after your death. There was this moment as your spirit was lifting from your body and the planar key was descending into the ship when you were going to move to whatever was beyond. A man walked up to you. At least they seemed like a man, just slightly hunched over. They approached you as you were dying. They told you how powerful and influential you were in life and how that should not end with death. And they told you of an organization beyond the realm of mortality that seeks to maintain balance, just as you had done with your creation of the world, just as you had strived to do for your life and what you had ensured after your death, balance. The organization had no name, but it was often referred to as the collection. As a member of the collection, you would be assigned tasks that would in one way or another maintain balance. Now the specifics were too great for your mind to comprehend at that point being so close to mortality, but you would grow and learn the further you moved away from your mortality. And you remember that you accepted the job and you remember shaking the hand to seal the deal. And you remember shaking the hand of a wide palm with long fingers and gray flesh. You remember now that your organization was founded by Volos. Oh my God. What the fuck? Hundreds of thousands of years passed and you never saw Volos again in your organization, but you remember now the founder of the collection was Volos. Oh my god. The fucking... He did, he did say, in a way, you kind of work for me. Oh, oh my geez. god. What the fuck? Oh my gosh. You remember everything, Galdrick. Oh. Holy fuck. Fucking sh How long have you been waiting for him to ask that question? Whoa! Since episode one of this arc. 
Okay, let's go. Listen, I, I may, I may, I may have been done a little bit of the jazz cabbage before before the stream, uh, but I won't lie. I literally have tears in my eyes just in awe at what was just that was, that was one of the absolute craziest fucking lore dumps I have ever experienced, and I'm dumbfounded and. That is, as is no surprise, a 100% unbelievably masterful choice of um, soundtrack. Thank Holy you. Shit. Thank you. Yeah. Holy <laughs> shit. That was some fucking Halo final mission slash never ending story <laughs> fucking crazy. Oh my God, man. Oh, holy I know, shit. I know the moment has passed, but Venalus, can I have you kind of replicate the look on your face when that dropped? And <laughs> <laughs> I'll see if I can. Holy shit. Shit, that oh was the God. fucking craziest of all the things I was like, I cannot, uh, dude, all right, I'm just a little dumbfounded. I was not expecting, <laughs> I was like, we're kind of, we're kind of piecing together our way through this mystery and, and uh, Slump was actually fighting Galdrick on his conclusions, but Galdrick kept going with his gut. And as has happened multiple times before, he ends up being right on the fucking money. That was insane. <laughs> that nice was fucking <laughs> insane. Oh my god, dude. Oh, I was gonna be shit. If I was gonna build a prison, I would build it on the spawn point. God damn it. <laughs> <laughs> yep. And that's why when he called for the ship, it rose from the depths because it had sunk right there at the tolls. Of course. Yep. I was so worried. When you first of all I was worried that you were going to call for the ship early, which you did. <laughs> and I was really worried when you saw the power of the ship and the fact that it just kind of did what you wanted and, and could like fill ammo infinitely and keep you fed and safe, that you would start to question the, the depths of its power and realize that it was the planar key and that it was the planar key because you were. That is why you've been able to hear, thing. that's why you've been able to feel it whenever you've been around these other things. It was all in relation to your proximity of the Bishop's Bane. Mm. Oh. Yeah. That was very well written. I, I'm still kind of blown away. Yeah. <laughs> I know, I'm talking, man. <laughs> that was one of the craziest <laughs> fucking things, man. Holy I, shit. I feel like I have to leave the campaign, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, are you saying you have to leave because you'll never experience anything like that again? Because you're no. mad your boss is bonus? Because my fucking brains are on the floor. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Yeah, no, I was I was so nervous wow, a couple times dude. that you were gonna that you were gonna to start asking asking those dangerous dangerous questions <laughs> that Wait, question could not possibly have come at a better fucking time because we yeah. needed an answer now yeah man so can I'll you tell us can you tell us how do don't mind me can you, can you tell us how if uh how or if galdrick and or the bishop's bane have changed <laughs> in appearance so the bishop's bane is now lifeless the ship the ropes oh. no longer spin on their own. Oh. The stores of the pork pies vanish. Oh. And the wood beneath your feet feels wet, cold, and lifeless. And is it in. How does Galdrick look? Galdrick looks like full. He looks. Interesting. He looks. Um, I think it's mostly in the eye. He only has one now. Sure. And his gaze is now piercing without being intense. Just wherever he looks, it seems to look through everything. So there's this kind of... When you look at him from the back, you can tell he looks important. And when you look at him in the face, it looks like he's seeing everything. So if someone's, if he walked up to someone and said, I'm Galdrick fucking Stout, they're going to believe him. Well, unquestionably, like the, unquestionably, he's, absolutely. He's got like the, the Watchman, Dr. Manhattan vibe going on. Yeah, that's, yeah. Yeah, that's a great analogy. Yeah, 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 absolutely. Okay. The Dr. Manhattan vibe, exactly. Okay, I, th I think, um, 
I, I think when this happens, uh, 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 Slump would be looking at him sort of like one of the kids from uh, the Hook movie when Peter Pan starts to remember who he is. Yeah. So like, <laughs> that verse is like, it's like dumbfounded uh, glee and belief. And, uh, and Slump would look at him and start clapping his hands gently and go, oh, he's starting to remember. And then his face would go very stoic all of a sudden. And he would look at him and say, he's beginning to believe. And then he would, uh, then he would, uh, in I, in what I like to think of as his most practiced and proper form, Slump would um, snap to attention, puff out his chest, and stand perfectly straight and look at uh, Galdrick and say, uh, "Your right hand mate, at attention, waiting for orders, Captain Teeny Todd." Oh come on! There's no reason to change anything. I'm exactly the same as I was. Slump immediately lets his gut just go flump. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. What do you think, Mr. Teeny Todd? What do we do? Guide us. Well, I see why I wanted to remake this world in my image. <laughs> oh god you knew the answer the entire time. <laughs> it's all part of the plan oh man <laughs> sorry i had something in my throat um, <laughs> well so have i got a story for you guys <laughs> what is so weird uh i remember i remember everything oh you, boy what do you mean by everything i remember everything do you mean everything everything you remember when slump had the mama tattoo remember yeah. No, no, I don't remember that. But oh, I, oh. oh yeah, I do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was over your heart. Yeah, no, it was over your arm. It was on your arm. Yeah, it was on your arm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. No, not that. Okay. I'll kind of fill them in. And uh, oh, I'm the planer. I was originally the planer key of this world. I settled amongst them. You know, I kind of the whole lore dump, everything yeah. that you guys just heard. And I'll kind of uh, lead in with uh, Shmolo is actually in charge of the organization that. Well, I don't know if he's in charge, but he founded it. Uh, oh, no. What? You know how I've been trying to get all the keys? Yeah. Oh, no. For he's him? The, he's the one that set the mission up. Oh, boy. Ooh. Uh -oh. oh, dear. Wee woo, wee woo. Yeah. So, hold on. So, question to uh question to tech yep in terms of my abilities am i a full planar key or am i half a planar key you are a full planar key let's go <laughs> that's it and oh. this is interesting because you have technically been a planar key twice before this as well you held the white planar key briefly and you held the green planar key briefly and when you held the white planar key and the green they were wild un and uncontrollable, and you risk destroying yourself and reality for every second that you held on to the power. With this, this, is, this is my baby. This fits like a glove. Interesting. Interesting. Literally, your will and thought is oh. made reality in this world. Oh my fucking god, bro! <laughs> <laughs> oh. Holy shit! I look at I look at Lady Nakida. I told you you were fucking stupid and I was right. <laughs> <laughs> she is just like yeah, absolutely slack jawed and completely, completely dumbfounded and 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 uh, empty for words. <laughs> Oh my God! Okay, so did you did you say that his will is made reality in this world? Yes. Holy oh. fucking shit! Now, okay. So first things first. Oh, well, uh, just remember, like uh, Shmalo. I know, I know, I know. Good. So here's the thing: I don't necessarily want to use this at will because that will summon you know who. 
However, you know who has never been able to fight me whenever I've had a planar key. Oh. And this one, I kind of like, I just like dance with my fingers. You know, I don't use any magic. This one isn't going away. This one is stable. So what do you, what do you, th you think you can fight him? At least hold him off. Maybe you, not what, defeat him. What if he has the power of more than one key? Does he have the power of more than one key? So have we secured all the keys? If he so had... here, so here's my, hold on, lock. Sorry, here's my, here's my theory. I think that you can only hold on to whatever key is your, um, your essence. His is red, right? Yeah. So even if he had another key, I don't think he could hold on to it for very long because it's unstable. So unless he found some way to stabilize that, which he had to use an object last time. Remember he tried, he tried bringing it into like a cube or oh, something. Yeah, that's right. Right. So if he has a way to stabilize it, then maybe, but it's, I doubt it would be the full power of it. But we know that the keys currently, which are two, we have them locked away. I have one, he has one, which only leaves one other in play. Gold. Okay. Which is the gold, right? That makes sense. So, first things nice. first, let's set this world right because we've definitely broken a lot of things since we've gotten her, at least I did in, in my absence. Yeah, I remember that guy that had slump smushed his head. Oh, yeah. yeah. Well, he was an idiot. Don't worry about him. Okay. He stays? Is dead. Wait. Oh, shit. You're right. First things first. I want to run downstairs. I want to look at Big Boss. Uh, He's just kind of like scratching on the wall with a stick. Uh, <laughs> And then he just kind of like looks over at you and his face goes pale. I am Galdrick Stout. Um... I, I, I'm sorry. Uh, I, I didn't know. Uh, <laughs> you didn't see the look on your face. Okay, I gotta go by. <laughs> <laughs> and then I'll run back upstairs. Okay, sorry about that. Had to do that. That was hilarious. Okay. Okay. Uh, all right. First things first. The moment. I'm willing to bet the moment. Oh, boy. The moment. Uh, I use any sort of this power, we will attract the attention of you know who. Mm. Okay, I have a Lou, I'm gonna need you. What what is it? Can you I kinda like do like her goggle flippy madu thing? You still have the flippy madus, right? You can still see other things. Did that come over with me? It's a magical item, right? Uh, your ability to look into other inks? Yeah. Uh, that has basically become just your vision. You can just change your vision. It's like uh, it's okay. like blinking a second second of eyelids for you. That's rad. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yes, okay. I can. Okay, good. Check for white. Oh, okay. And so, yeah, I look around for anything white ink. Um... Like you're just looking to see if there's any there's there's no white ink around you. I don't see anything. Okay. Okay. All right. Next thing. Actually, you know what? This won't work here. Should this we won't check? Work here. Did you want to check for red? Should we check for red? You sure. Go ahead. Check for red. Can I check for red real quick? Yeah. You look around. Nothing. Okay. okay. No, there's actually nothing. Okay. Okay. Good. 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 Okay. I have another theory. It's been a while since we've done this. Slump. Yeah. How badly could you go for a bowl of noodles right about now? Slump could always go for food. Slump was thinking of eating mitts for Big Boss on account of the fact that we probably don't eat him for shit anymore. And he was a bit of a dick. So <laughs> noodles is also acceptable. Okay, excellent. I, 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 come on, let's see if this works. Oh, I hope this fucking works. I'm gonna go out to the top deck and look to see if there's suddenly a noodle shop anywhere. There is suddenly a noodle shop just sitting kind of in the middle of the deck. Holy shit. <laughs> okay. We would not see any different inks here, but we would in there. 
Ah. So let's go get some noodles. I want to walk in. Yep. With the crew. And I want to say, uh, oh, God, I always love the tavern that's playing here. It's so <laughs> stealth. <laughs> okay, Lou, do your thing. What do we see? Go through all of them. Uh, so, yeah, white first. When you look through white, you see nobody there. I see nobody here in white. That's odd. That's bad. Okay, red. Uh, okay, red. Red, you see some demons and some skeletons and some monsters sitting around slurping up some noodles. Just your regular kind of rough clientele, but not the VIP. Okay, that's good. Uh, green. Green. Green, you see knights and peasants and uh, all matter of people sitting around eating some noodles. It's the usual kind of community, yeah. Okay, blue. Blue. Blue, you see some people. Probably not as many as, as others, but you do see some people sitting around eating some noodles. Okay, so still sort of regular. Okay, good. Now here's the big one. Gold. Okay. Gold. See? You see your gold buddy. And you see uh, probably two people. Not many, but I see my usual companion and two others. Okay. So if that ink is still there, they look like that, then it's likely that 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 ink is still intact. So So Shmolo is he the planar key of the red or the white? I think he's the planar key of the red. The white was Kerr. And I think we, we took it, and so now it's safely locked away. So that's interesting. I'm trying to I'm trying to digest this because if so, uh, can you help me out? Uh, is my organization from an all-knowing outside of the ink sort of thing, or am I from the white? Because I believe I'm from the white. It is. Uh, oh. It is. Uh, so actually, you are originally from the blue and you did not remember that until you started gaining memories when you came here you were never assigned to the blue again uh you had all your missions in the other inks and uh the organization is actually a little bit kind of outside of them you did a lot of missions in the white so you kind of feel a kinship towards the white ink um gotcha. okay. but uh your organization is kind of it, it's not really outside of them, but it's a part of all of them. Okay, got it. Okay. Yep. So in that case... Oh. Oh! <laughs> it's a huge amount of information that you guys just unlocked. I'm, I'm just reeling with <laughs> yeah. what the fuck yeah. to do with this information now. I mean, I have, I have an idea. I have an impulsive, horrible idea that might fuck all of Tech's plans. <laughs> what is it we could talk about without doing it? Well, I mean, that's, that, that, that removes half the fun. Um, ooh, that's such a fun idea. Oh, that's this is this is Milton level of chaos. Oh, okay, I'll discuss it. I'll be good. I'll discuss it. What if I were to contact my butler? free if you will my organization and set their headquarters up in the blue free the organization essentially be like hey butler uh let's go hey betty let like just boom try to pop them out of wherever they are and bring them here ooh Hmm. Because if we're going to use this power and it's going to summon, I want to, I want that first use to be essentially somehow summoning reinforcements. Oh, that makes sense. Well, what if it's 
first use was just to go and put it back in the in the locked room in the back of the bar. That's not very fun, but I mean, that's, that's probably good. the safest, you that, know? That's the... Okay, so now here's the... God, I don't... Actually, I don't know if that's the safest. No. <laughs> I don't know if that's the safest because... Okay, let's discuss. <sighs> What's safer? Putting this almighty weapon in a locked chest which can't defend itself or wield this weapon to, def to, to fight. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Like, I almost feel like we got the blue, and the blue should be the last one we fucking put in to fix everything. Oh, like you can carry that with you into the yeah. next... Oh. Like Tex said, it, it fits like a glove. Now, I don't know if I can carry this to another ink. I I doubt it. But I don't think I have to put it away immediately. Yeah. Um... I would... I, I do think it's a great idea to help your organization. Because essentially, if the you know the, the 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 men in black has actually you know been betrayed from within it would be good to just be like hey all the good ones we are here now yeah yeah i will i, I will uh, give you a bit of information about uh, your please. organization yeah so because you have uh, obtained all of your memories i think you kind of remember this shift how in the early days when you first came there, you had missions which didn't really seem to have anything to do with balance. And you just understood that you don't understand the greater scheme. And so you're just a cog in the system and there's a great mind keeping balance. Now you were being deceived at the time because that wasn't what the goal was, but you didn't know that. You just assumed you didn't know enough. And so you just did your job like a good worker be. Right. And over I I was, time, I was, I was, I was doing a butterfly effect. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Okay. And over time and by time, I mean, thousands and tens of thousands of years, the missions seemed to change a little bit. There was so much reconnaissance in the early missions, so much go and see and report and not a lot of doing. And later, thousands and thousands of years later, when you really started to become one with the kind of void angels, you thought it was because you were changing that you saw the missions differently. But now, from your perspective, you can see the missions were changing. And they started to become a lot more about this sense of balance. And it seemed like management was kind of changing a little bit. And I think I'll just tell you this so that it doesn't become this weird, complicated thing. Uh, you get the feeling that Volo set up your organization to comb for planar keys. That's what you were meant to do. Mm. And over time, your organization's failure to find any planar keys led to Volos kind of letting it just go. Like he just abandoned the organization. He didn't shut it down. He just left it. it and it's like considered it a failed venture. And so the man the current management isn't really tied to Volos necessarily. He founded it with a certain goal, but abandoned it when it failed that goal. Okay. So essentially his name's on the door, but when the new management came over, it actually became about balance. And then yeah. we kind of accidentally started stumbling upon the thing he was looking for. Yes. That and is like the like, greatest I irony. Yeah, that's like okay. the greatest irony is that in one of your missions for balance, you found a planar key. So it's almost like the organization worked. He just called it quits too early. And now he's much more interested. Okay. So. All right. Okay. 
All right. Well, then that's 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 very helpful because that means the my butler and the buildings and the Bettys like I can trust them still. Yeah, you feel like most of your organization, like almost the entire organization, honestly, is on your side doing the thing that they think they're doing. It was just founded on an entirely different principle millennia and millennia ago. Okay, interesting. Do I know who is the current management or is it just some benevolent figure that we don't know of? Yeah, it's either a benevolent figure or a collection of figures. Um, Do we know why Volos fell out of power? Sorry, he he just abandoned it. He just oh, said like okay. this place oh, doesn't wow. work. It's not doing what I wanted to do. Ah, uh, interesting. Okay. So he just left. He's like, all right, this was a dumb idea. Interesting. Fuck. And so what he just he fuck? just left it, and then the the mm. company just kind of ran itself. Like oh they got God, fewer okay. and fewer instructions from Volos, and they just kind of kept on replicating the kinds of things that they were doing. But with the belief that it was for balance, because Volos was the only one who knew that it's ulterior motives. And when he left, the ulterior motives left and it became what it was actually about. Interesting, very interesting. <sighs> okay, so with that with that being the case, uh, and it not being, okay, so if Volos has a key and is able to essentially lock it down, am I able to unlock it? that's kind of the tough thing he still has the keys to the building kind of thing gotcha so as as powerful as you are because he built it and he has the keys to it he still has a leg up on you for it and you get the feeling that's why you can't communicate with any other members of the branch because he kind of excised you when he realized what was happening oh boy oh boy this is gonna be real bad uh okay so for for posterity's sake uh tech i ask you what were to happen if i were to use my key to be to teleport to the other key room and grab another key um if you want to go to the so uh going to the chamber is basically impossible but you can go to the bar yeah, and yeah, then yeah, go yeah, to yeah. the chamber um you don't know what the process for like integrating a key really is but theoretically you could grab a key pull it out of a building and try to absorb it into yourself you don't you would immediately become power wise the most powerful being in all of creation yeah um and Can I do it for long enough to save the organization that you don't know you don't know what kind of tricks puzzles traps and mazes backup plans and fail safes volos has you don't know what that kind of power would do to you like your body is barely able to contain one of those key one of those keys that doesn't fit with you and you don't know what a double up of the power would be even if one of them fits well you just there's so much unknown it 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 probably wouldn't be pretty guaranteed um but you don't know for how long and to what degree it would be kind of uncontrolled <sighs> okay Okay. Uh, well, I look at the rest of the party. Okay, well, now that... Uh... Fuck. Um, uh, uh, yeah. Mr. Mr. Goldrick. Yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. I was... <clears throat> I'm sorry. I was, uh, uh, first of all, uh, sorry for all the times that I was rude. Um, Don't worry about it. It's fine. I'm still an asshole. Yes, uh... What do you mean, yes? I no, meant, I'm, no, I meant, no, I meant, I just meant whatever you say is absolutely true. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah, that's good. Yes. What's up? Um, I was wondering, now that you have all this power, uh, are you still going to save us and fix things? I have some mm -hmm. fun ideas about that, actually. Okay, because the Kraken really is going to be a problem here pretty quickly. I can, the, take, uh, 
Cue the uh, Anakin Padme meme. You're going to save us, right? You're going to save us, right? <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> now that you're all powerful, you're going to save us, right? You're going to save, save us, right? Save us, right? <laughs> uh, don't worry. I, the Kraken won't be an issue. I created it. Okay, but and you're going to fix it. Not right. <laughs> Dude. Mister. Yeah, of course. Okay. It, maybe. I, we'll see. Oh. Well, I might have a better idea. Um, uh, we'll see. Oh. Okay. Uh, you're, you're, listen, you, you must know best. Listen, listen, listen. As much as you... Listen, I'm a planar key. Yes, I'm all-knowing. Yes, I... Okay, I'm not all-knowing, but I am powerful, okay? The, but what you need to understand is what, I, what we told you. Remember how you were... You kind of didn't believe us? Um, yes. That was 100% true. What I am... There's an evil me... Uh, there's like a really bad me, you know, out there. There's like a really bad me. He's like me except okay. bad. Yes, yes, understood. And and he wants to come here and okay. he wants to not save you. Um, are you going to kill him? If I can. All right. Can can we help? Uh, maybe. Okay. Maybe. Maybe. Uh, all right. Maybe. Ooh, Anything we can do. Maybe. Maybe. Yes. Oh. Yes. Uh-oh. Yes. What can we do? Uh-oh. I need a way in lock. I have a feeling you're going to come in handy for this. All this power that I have. Oh, boy. Do you know if there's a way to contain it we need a counter oh, oh we, that's we, no problem and most kitchens have those <laughs> yeah. that, that will be twenty dollars <laughs> oh yeah show, show yourself out that's okay right. oh, oh, see you guys see you guys later okay. something's gonna go over here never mind okay. <laughs> <laughs> um a no, way, no. So, a, a way to contain a way to, your power a way to contain my power like if i were to willingly say I kind of look like hands down at my ship. I kind of like look at my ship. If I had to a vessel, that's not a pun, to put my power into. I, I, I need I need a vessel to absorb said power because oh boy, what if I told you this is the third key I've had this week? <laughs> that's uh I entirely believable. Well, it's not this week. It's more like how long? It's been a while. It's been like a year, huh? In like in like two years okay it's been a long it's been a long time but, but anyway. you guys aren't in the noodle shop anymore naki daha would not would not hear you guys <laughs> oh right right right, right. yeah you okay. guys stepped somehow you stepped yeah, out of the yeah, noodle yeah. shop yep um uh where there it is <clears throat> um actually I, am i still talking to the lord commander uh we'll say you 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 told him uh and there was a giant boom of power and he suddenly immediately believed you <laughs> <laughs> uh and, and uh, he definitely like everyone's hopping to and getting preparations underway to uh to repel the uh the imminent attack there's something i kind of want to do related to that but Ooh. let's continue with this okay yep um knock it out i was like uh uh uh, the only thing I could really think of would be the, the Tower of Vartalon itself. It's constructed to guide and contain uh, uh, vast quantities of power. I don't know if it has ever had anything on the level uh, that you have right now, uh, Master Galdrick, but that's the only thing that I could really think of. Uh... I would also like to point out that every time we've tried to get a key, uh, <clears throat> you know who, uh, is always right there at the moment where it's critical that we have it to intercept it. So I would like to build a counter to his little box, his device, whatever I can build to make sure that if he does try to pull it out of you by force, that we can at least either keep it in you or make it that it doesn't reach him which gives us enough time to make sure he can't take it oh 
I grin from ear to ear. <laughs> I'm an almighty, all powerful device. Yeah. Person, camera, person, TV thing. Um, can <sighs> the age old question? Uh, can I? Can God create a rock that even He can't lift? <laughs> <laughs> yes. So, can I create? Oh, this might be our nesting ground. Can I create? Uh, essentially, I don't know how to describe this. Can I create a blue ink only zone? A blue ink only zone. Like this world, can I essentially, being this world's creator, can I essentially be like, no other inks are allowed here? That sounds like some pretty crazy magic, but. Well, I mean, because Volos can, can, Volos can deal in all inks, so. Could yeah, he just... it like he could he could enter through blue ink. Yeah, how but can he, he do but, that? But, if he can, but can he weave blue ink? Yeah. Oh, he can. How? Uh, planar keys can weave in all colors. Oh. So if if Galdrick went back to the white ink, he could weave white ink. Yeah, I mean, you can weave white ink right now if you had a source of it. Oh, yeah. Interesting. Yep. So if I can weave in all inks... Oh, fuck. fuck, man! There's so many implications! <laughs> yes, yes! <laughs> it's almost like being a planar key is a huge fucking deal. Now, just to be clear, just to be clear uh, now that he's remembered this, uh does he feel like he's all of a planar key or is yep. there still some oh okay yeah, okay he's the full thing oh wow well then i mean basically we're done with this ink then aren't we really isn't yeah, this what we I came like, here I for I would, to get I the planar key yeah before i would be done with this ink, i would essentially be like boop kraken you're now benevolent boop cuddles you're now a kind squid and <laughs> uh boop half the pirates are nice people now is this is this something that you think we should do narratively tech um, basically, if you ever want to give me what you want to have happen, I can make it happen in the, uh, but yeah, we can do it maybe, narratively. Absolutely. I was going to say, maybe, maybe that's something that we should uh, spend the next week waiting on. And then Galdrick next week, maybe you can, or, or maybe sometime within the next, before next Friday, maybe you should come up with some changes for the blue ink. And then that could be part of the narrative intro or something. I, I would know. like to know uh, before we leave. I mean, I don't even know if we're considering leaving right now, but I would definitely like to to know how some shit is going to play out here. Yeah. Like, I I don't think we're done here. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. I, I um, would also point out that um, if Galdrick did do all these things and, and like, correct me if I'm wrong, Tech, this is just like Locke and his knowledge. Yep. If Galdrick did do something like that, like boot, uh, you know, crack in, tickles, pirates gone, that creates enough of a ripple for other things other than mm. Volos to look in on yeah, us right. mm. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah exactly yeah so beings like the Oberith are drawn to massive uh expenditures massive changes like that um the uh, the 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 nature of creation or destruction on massive scales uh attracts the Oberith and sends out a giant beacon in a lot of ways uh, so you could absolutely draw attention from a lot of sources, depending on what you do. So not only do we have Volos to contend with, but all the rest of non-existence. So now that I know that I'm a planar key and I can essentially go to wherever the fuck I want and I can weave ink in that area as if yep. i were a planar key just like volos yep <sighs> power for power you are exactly matched for volos anything he can do you can do better okay so but <laughs> because i don't want to i don't want to fill your head he has been a planar key for a very long time with the goals that he has and the knowledge that he has accrued. So if power is matched, 
tactics and strategy and knowledge are what decide it. And right now, Volos has a lot of those. Which is kind of what happened because Lou was a planar key for a, for a few moments, and <laughs> Listen. tried to fight Volos, and at one point went blow for blow and caught Volos off guard, and the next time it went very poorly for Lou. Okay, so. <laughs> I have two thoughts, crew. I have two thoughts. I have two okay. courses of action. Hit us with it. Either number one, uh, we go immediately to well, we you know we fix the world, beep boop beep boop, and not like crazy change it, but just kind of try to set things for the the better. You know, not not leave it in this nightmare situation that's in. Not looking to create a power vacuum, right? Right. We go immediately to Gold Ink, and with the power of the planar key. Uh, hopefully that'll make it easier to find whomever or whatever the planar key is over here. Explain what the fuck is going on and join forces. <gasps> I or love that idea. Or think, number. Oh, go ahead. I, I have a feeling that the gold ink is well aware of what's going on. Yeah. Especially with, with gold, with gold person helping out like that. That's why I think like we might, that might be a good course of action. Mm hmm or number two uh this is again tech oh man this is fucking this is beautiful bow on it we have two inks in the other area right we still we have two two inks currently locked away yep can i as a planar key essentially attune another planar key to fit one of my crew members <laughs> Theoretically, yes, but the knowledge of how that is something that you do not know. I want to immediately begin on figuring that out. Okay. And I think we'll call it there, guys. Holy fucking oh my shit. I was <laughs> not <laughs> anticipating uh, uh, the, the, the scope of uh, developments that we have learned tonight. Oh my God. Holy <laughs> shit. One of the literally, this, what is this? Episode 111 or 112? Yeah, 111. 111. Yeah. Um, I was I was not expecting that kind of jaw dropping fucking <laughs> development. That was absolute insanity. Absolute Xander. Uh, <laughs> I have been so worried <laughs> literally since day one oh for the day God. that would happen. And you know what? I think Holy it happened shit. at such a such a beautiful time. That was yes. that was such a beautiful unfolding of that oh, situation. To, to, that worked out so uh, good. To yep. go to Joan and to ask the questions that were asked, and then to talk about the concept of balance and recognize so much the characteristics that were natural to Galdrick. And you guys were, you guys were all of you dropping pins so close to right where it was, <laughs> thinking it was this, thinking it was that, thinking this is what happened. They were all so close. I was on the edge of my fucking seat the whole time that you guys were just itching right around the corners. <laughs> Honestly, uh, Galdrick fucking 10 out of 10 on figuring that out because uh, Ven was pretty sure. And I just remember thinking like, no way. <laughs> no way. And he was like, I think so, man. And then it ended up being exactly that. That was fucking insane. One of the craziest reveals of any story I've ever fucking <laughs> it's, it's by far the biggest reveal I've ever been a part of. I, that I was think so, so awesome. right? Oh, I, I, insane, I love the way because it was like, but Galdrick, how could you have told the 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 kraken it, to to preserve balance? Is like I don't know. Maybe I was a fucking planar key. That's <laughs> perfect. And then there was just <laughs> dead <laughs> silence. <laughs> dead. As I that think was, everyone went like, yeah. oh. <laughs> <laughs> that those were the magic words. Wow. The belief man. that you were the planar key. So, so real quick, if, if I may, yeah. uh, the last thing Galdrick would like to do yeah. is if he wants to like figure that out. You know, uh, Avengers when when fucking uh, Doctor Strange is like doing the 
the head like thing like it's yep. seeing the future and shit yep. like that galdrick is actually doing that he's trying to figure out how the fuck to attune yep other people to that yep he's just he's just pondering okay all right Damn i'm it. just gonna write that down uh i'm not using my power i'm just trying to think really hard <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> I would like to add two things to it because I know you're probably going to have to write it out or put it in your notes for next week. Yep. Um, the coming battle lock. Ha well, I guess there's an idea for a defense against the barrier. Um, and long story short, it, it comes to like because. Uh, all right, question: Are the uh, the navy's crystals bigger than the ones on the ships? Yes. Okay, so the the idea is that basically resonant frequency since they're smaller crystals we create something that can resonate with the crystals and force them to shatter or break um i know we're kind of like on a tight clock but and and basically Locke would have to commit all his time to eat, to essentially come up with a prototype and pray to god it works um but because we have a crystal hopefully yeah. there's you know there's some insight into that uh the other thing is that immediately after all this uh, happens and with that lore drop, Locke is going to try to find a way to help contain or keep a planar key in its user, or uh, or be able to essentially prevent Volos from doing what he has been doing every time a party encounters a key. Yep, got some, got that written down. Perfect. Okay, guys, holy wow, shit. Oh, man, my, my, I'm, my mind is spinning to think of what someone could do in the next week, but I, my, it's spinning so fast, I literally can't land on one thing. I, yeah. I think, I think Slump would just spend the next period of time contemplating what has just occurred. Yeah, that's fair. That's totally holy fair. Shit. Okay. My wow. God. Man, good stuff. Excellent, wow. excellent work, you guys. Fantastic session. That was, that was yeah. super, super fun. Thank you, holy guys. Shit. Well, next week, same time, same place. Same time, same place next week, guys. Holy fuck. Big yep, changes yep, yep. be coming up next week, my yeah. God. All right. I'll see you guys later. See you next yep. week, everyone. Bye, Bye, Bye. Bye.